It is a very moody morning today, as you can see around me, all the fog and everything. That is because we are in the mountains of the very top of Georgia. We are about 30 minutes outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee, at a place called On the Rocks, which is a shipping container, Airbnb. They actually have two up here, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of their first one. The views from here are absolutely insane because, like I said, we're on a mountain. Let's go check it out. What did you think of the views that this place has to offer? You can see for miles and miles and miles. Like I said, we're right outside of Chattanooga, about 30 minutes south over the border into Georgia. Trenton is the small town that is closest to this area, but we are on top of a mountain. That's why all the views are amazing. That's why all the fog is kind of up here today. It's been raining when I've been here, but that led for some moody and some cozy vibes in the shipping container home. If you want to book this yourself, the link is down below their website and on Airbnb. There's also a link to sign up or host your own unique home down there. Also, check out the new merch, Homies. Go check that out. Buy some to help support the channel. Anyway, the tour, let's get along with it. You'll drive up this awesome mountain in North Georgia and you'll pull up to your Airbnb and you notice that there are two on this property. There is a single 20 foot shipping container and a double 20 foot shipping container home. The one we will be touring today is the double. It is the blue one off to the left. They are both separately on Airbnb so you can book whichever one you want. Next week, I'll be giving you a tour of the other one. So you decide to book the blue one, what is it all about? It is two 20 foot shipping container homes that have the middles cut out of them. So when they're put together, it leaves a lot larger of a space. So you're not confined to the typical eight foot that most shipping container homes are. This one is like a small, tiny house. I'm taking a look on the outside, since they are offset, that leaves room for a small overhang porch over here. Whenever you walk up to it, they leave the original container doors on this, which I think are awesome. They added wood up against this wall, and of course, you got your yellow door that you can walk into. On the other side, then, that leaves an overhang over there as well. That is actually your outdoor deck area, and when you walk out there, the views are amazing, but we'll get to that later so another unique thing you might notice on the outside is all the windows and everything that looks like this is a two-story shipping container home that because it kind of is the owner of this actually built this himself he built both of these which is incredible and he took off the roof of one of these and added a loft area that's why there's multiple windows and layers the roof situation is pretty unique it kind of just bends and folds with the roof and everything just kind of swoops down all the rain and everything really awesome and underneath I believe is just storage area and the foundation let's just take a step inside and check out what it looks like so you walk in the front yellow door and you're greeted instantly to your open living room loft concept and everything is white in here it's really bright because of all the windows and the view from the windows I'll just get to that right now the view from this windows is incredible you have the couch right in the middle of your living room to look out this huge massive window and you can overlook the town you can overlook at night you can see all the lights and everything Everything, and you just have a bird's eye view of everything you feel like you are on top of the world uh, you can't get this view anywhere else there's very few spots I would say you can get this type of view with a tiny house floors are all of this really nice hard wood and this is really designed as a peaceful getaway I would say there's no television or anything like that it's made to enjoy you and your surrounding areas and the container home back behind the living room area is kind of your hallway ish there's two doors the first door on the left is your bathroom actually take a step in there it's all bright and white you have a very small sink right in the middle your toilet and a couple shelves over to the right and over to your left you have your tiled walk-in shower which is incredible I love the tiling in here and this is just your small bathroom which is really fitting with this home the next door is your closet space which is really unique to have in a tiny house you have a full designated room for a closet and then over from this is your sleeping area this is your bedroom i really like how it's situated in its own corner area and the two windows that this thing has is incredible so whenever you're sleeping or chilling out on the bed you can overlook and you still get the awesome views it has blinds of course you can close those but this is your bed and this little nook has a dresser on the left and it actually has its own ac unit in here one of the 
coziest bedrooms I have seen, which is awesome. And then we walk out of that, walk back into your living room area, and we'll continue on with the other side, which is your kitchen. On the right side, you have a hot plate right here, so you can cook some things. You can up some hot water for coffee, and then over on the left, you have your really large sink. I say large sink in every tiny home, but this one is actually a pretty large sink. I would say it's bigger than my sink in my own uh, apartment, so it's really nice farmhouse looking sink and below all of this are some cabinets that have some kitchen utensils and everything like that in this you have a huge fridge over here and a microwave above it which is incredible to have and then over on the left side the countertop again it's this beautiful chopboard countertop and this is where they have all the goodies and snacks. They actually have a s'mores little jar right here. And they have some coffee making supplies. Floating shelves and below all of this are more cabinets and a couple chairs actually in case you want to sit here or eat your food here or whatever. And if we just turn around, the views of the living room and the windows and everything are just gorgeous. Now let's go over and head to the outdoor patio. So the sliding door right here under the ladder lets you walk out into your small patio area, but you have the views that I would say everybody wants. You get to sit out here, drink some coffee. The other night I was sitting out here and watching the Mandalorian on the laptop. This is a wonderful patio. Take a step back inside, we'll head up the ladder and we'll head into the loft. You climb up the ladder right here and you have a really large loft space. You can actually stand up in here. I'm pretty average height and in the corner I can stand up in this loft. So it's really roomy. I know a lot of times lofts are, you know, hit or miss because sometimes you can't even sit up in lofts. So this one you can actually stand up in and the windows lets you look out, of course, and you can convert this couch area into a bed. So there's actually two beds in here. I believe you actually have access to a fire pit as well. If we take a step outside, you can kind of walk down the path and there's this fire pit right on the edge of this cliff right here, which is pretty awesome. You're not too close actually, but you have your fire pit and chairs around it. So when you're out here with your significant other or friends, uh, you can have a fire, cook some s'mores and enjoy the views this has to offer. More on the cliff, this is pretty unique. You're not like too close to the cliff edge at all. So you can be walking outside and you're not gonna have any trouble or anything, but I love having, you know, the rock of the cliff right on the edge and they have real grass and everything right that goes up to the ledge so it is a full-on awesome experience I would not want to be the person that mows this lawn <laughs> so this container home has a lot to offer I love the incorporation of two container homes and one and taking out the roof and making a loft area I highly suggest this place for any romantic retreat get away or just hanging out with friends and having an experience I always say this on emphasize tiny houses are for the experience Experience. You don't know what it's like to be in a tiny house until you actually come and visit one, experience it yourself. So I highly suggest going out there and staying in one yourself. If you have any questions about building them, message the owner down below. Their Instagram is down below about building. These are really incredible builds, I would say, and he loves to do them. So props to him. I'm glad that he did this and offered something incredible. Also, get some merch, and guys, I'll see you in next week's video.